Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Prepare yourself for 30 thought-provoking questions covering various aspects of the Holy Bible. Before we start, please subscribe and like this video to help us spread the Word of God. After the quiz, share your score in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We also have an exciting opportunity for you. Click the Join button to become a channel member. As a member, you'll get access to exclusive content that will enhance your biblical journey, and you'll be supporting us in sharing the Word of God with more people. Are you ready? Let's jump into the video. Question 1. Who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver? A. Judas B. Peter C. Thomas D. John Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Matthew 26, 15 And said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. Question 2. Who was the oldest man mentioned in the Bible? A. Adam B. Noah C. Methuselah D. Enoch Time to think. The right answer is letter C, Genesis 5, 27. And all the days of Methuselah were 960 and 9 years, and he died. Question 3. Who betrayed Jesus with a kiss? A. Peter B. John C. Judas D. Thomas Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Matthew 26, 49. And forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. Question 4. Which apostle was on the island of Patmos when he wrote the book of Revelation? A. Paul B. John C. Peter D. James Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Revelation 1 9. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Question 5. Which son of Adam and Eve is mentioned as a shepherd? A. Cain. B. Seth C. Abel D. Enos Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Genesis 4.2 and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Question 6. Who was thrown into a lion's den for continuing to pray to God in defiance of a king's decree? A. Shadrach B. Meshach 
C. Abednego D. Daniel Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Daniel 6.16 Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Question 7 Who was the wealthy job-creating woman that Paul met in Philippi? A. Lois B. Lydia C. Tabitha D. Dorcas Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Acts 16, part 14. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple, of the city of Thyatira, which worshipped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. Question 8. Who interpreted King Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a large statue made of various metals? A. Shadrach B. Meshach C. Abednego D. Daniel Time to think. The right answer is letter D, Daniel 2, 31, or 45. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold a great image. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Question 9. Which king ordered a census that brought Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem? A. Herod the Great B. Caesar Augustus C. King David D. King Solomon Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Luke 2.1 and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Question 10. What giant did David defeat with a sling and a stone? A. Goliath B. Og C. Nephilim D. Anak Time to think. The right answer is letter A. 1 Samuel 17, 49. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. Question 11. What is the Sea of Galilee also known as? A. Dead Sea. B. Sea of Tiberias C. Red Sea D. Mediterranean Sea Time to think. The right answer is letter B. John the 6.1 After these things Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. Question 12 
To whom did Jesus say, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind? A. To a lawyer. B. To a Pharisee. C. To a Sadducee. D. To his disciples. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Matthew 22.37 Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Question 13. Which king saw a hand writing on the wall? A. Belshazzar B. Nebuchadnezzar C. Cyrus D. Darius Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Daniel 5.5 5. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand, and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Question 14. In which book is the Valley of Dry Bones vision found? A. Ezekiel B. Daniel C. Jeremiah D. Isaiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Ezekiel 37 per 1 to 3. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Question 15. Who is known as the weeping prophet? A. Ezekiel B. Isaiah C. Jeremiah D. Micah Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Jeremiah 9.1 Oh, that my head were waters, and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Question 16 What was placed above Jesus' head on the cross? A. The King of Jews B. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews C. Son of God D. Savior of the world Time to think. The right answer is letter B. John 19.19 19. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Question 17. What was the first plague against Egypt? A. Water turned to blood. B. Frogs. C. Locusts. D. Darkness. Time to think.
The right answer is letter A. Exodus 7.20 And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded. And he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh, and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Question 18. Who helped Jesus carry his cross? A. John B. Simon of Cyrene C. Nicodemus D. Joseph of Arimathea Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Matthew 27, 32. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. Question 19. Who was David's chief captain? A. Joab. B. Abishai. C. Uriah. D. Benaiah. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Samuel 8.16 And Joab the son of Zeruiah was over the host, and Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud was recorder. Question 20. Who did David show kindness for Jonathan's sake? A. Ahimelech B. Ziba C. Barzillai D. Mephibosheth Time to think. The right answer is letter D. 2. Samuel 9, 1. And David said, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Question 21. Who helped David when he was hungry by giving him the shoe bread? A. Ahimelech B. Abiathar C. Zadok D. Eli Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Samuel 21.6 So the priest gave him hallowed bread, for there was no bread there but the shoe bread that was taken from before the Lord to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Question 22. Where was David anointed king over Israel? A. Bethlehem B. Hebron C. Jerusalem D. Gilgal Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Second, Samuel 5 for 3. So all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord and they anointed David king over Israel. Question 23. What did David do when he realized he had been tricked by the Ziphites? A. He cursed them. B. He prayed. C. He fled to a stronghold. D. He prepared for battle. Time to think.
The right answer is letter C. 1 Samuel 23, 29 And David went up from thence and dwelt in strongholds at Engedi. Question 24 Which of David's sons declared himself king without David's blessing? A. Absalom B. Solomon C. Adonijah D. Nathan Time to think. The right answer is letter C. 1. Kings 1 5. Then Adonijah the son of Haggith exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen, and fifty men to run before him. Question 25. How many stones did David take with him to fight Goliath? A. 1. B. 3. C. 7. D. 5. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. 1 Samuel 17.40 and he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had even in a scrip, and his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. Question 26. Which angel appeared to Mary, the mother of Jesus? A. Gabriel B. Michael C. Raphael D. Uriel Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Luke 1, 26, up upper 28. And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the virgin's name was Mary. Question 27. In which book is the story of the Shunammite woman who received her son back to life? A. Warn Kings B. Two Kings C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter B. 2. Kings 4.8 so 37. Story of the Shunammite woman and Elisha raising her son. Question 28. Who was the prophet that succeeded Moses as leader of Israel? A. Aaron. B. Joshua. C. Caleb. D. Samuel. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Joshua 1, 1, 2. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Question 29. 
Which Old Testament book contains the vision of a new temple in Jerusalem? A. Ezekiel B. Daniel C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Ezekiel 40-43 Description of the Vision of the New Temple Question 30 What kind of wood was Noah's Ark made of? A. Oak B. Gopher C. Cedar D. Pine Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis 6.14 Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.